Hello, this is Chris Kobe with the League of Women Voters of Portland. You're watching the video voters guide or listening to our podcast. We are here today to talk to candidates running in the May 17, 2022 primary election. All the candidates running for this position in the primary election were invited by the League to participate. We ask the candidates for the same office, the same questions. The number of questions asked is determined by the length of a candidate's answers. In this process, we are grateful for the support of the Carol and Selma Sailing Foundation, the League of Women Voters of Portland Education Fund, the Weiss Foundation, and our media partner, Metro East Community Media. With me is Commissioner uh, Sushila Jayapal, candidate for Multnomah County Commissioner, District 2, which includes North and Northeast Portland. Welcome, Commissioner Jayapal. Good afternoon, Chris. Good to be here. Please tell us a little about yourself and why you're running for this office. Sure. Um, I am a 26-year resident of Northeast Portland, um, originally from India. I came to the U.S. when I was 16 to go to college lawyer by profession, never anticipated being in politics, but ran for my first term in uh, 2017. And I ran because of my concern about what was happening in Multnomah County, about too many people not being able to survive in this county, about um, growing income inequality, displacement, houselessness. Flash forward, we've been through a pandemic and all of the issues that, was, that I was concerned about the first time around are very much still present and exacerbated because of that pandemic. I feel I've started some really important work and I wanna to continue to do that in a second term. Multnomah County and the city of Portland collaborate through the Joint Office of Homeless Services to address the needs of unhoused individuals in our community. What measures would you recommend to more effectively meet these needs? Yeah, um, that is obviously the number one priority for, for, for me and for most, uh, I think most of us in this community. There are a lot of strategies that I think we need to pursue, but um, I'll focus on four. First of all, houselessness is caused by a lack of affordable housing. That is the root cause. So we need more affordable housing. There are two ways to create it. One is to build it. That is what the city does, the city of Portland. That is what Metro is doing with the Metro housing bond. And the other is to pay people's rent to make market rate apartments more affordable. And we need to be doing both of those things and we need to be doing them faster. On the second strategy, creating an inventory of market rate units that we can subsidize people to live in, um, there's a strategy that other communities are using that I think we need to implement, and that is master leasing. This is when government or a nonprofit works with landlords to really bring more units into an inventory that we can then pay people's rent, allow them to move into. So that's one strategy, more units. We need a strategic expansion of shelter. And by that, what I mean is we, I don't believe that we should be spending all of our resources on emergency shelter. It's not a solution. We could spend all of the resources, for example, that we passed in the Metro Supportive Housing Services measure in May of 2020 on emergency shelter, and we won't have solved the problem. But we do need to strategically expand shelter. So for example, if there's a part of town in which we don't have any shelter, we should create some. If there's a kind of shelter that we don't have, for example, um, there's a lot of conversation about safe parking sites right now. These are places where people who are living in their vehicles can go and safely park, something I've been advocating for for a while. If we don't have that, we need to create it. So that's what I mean by strategic expansion of shelter. Third thing, we need to much better coordinate the services that we're providing to people. We are really doing a good job of providing a lot of different kinds of services but they're not well coordinated enough so that there are overlaps and there are gaps. What I would like to see happen is that if you're a person experiencing homelessness, you have one person or one team of case managers who starts with you at the beginning of your journey back to houselessness and then follows you all the way through. And we don't have that right now. And I think that we need that. And then the fourth thing I'd mention is... Um, we really need to develop housing for people who are at the most acute end of the mental health and behavioral health needs spectrum. These are people for whom a standard you know, package of mental health and behavioral health services 
aren't going to be enough. They need residential treatment, residential care. And that's a level of housing that we don't have enough of. It's something that the state really needs to fund. We really need to make sure that that's in our inventory as well. So those are the four things that I would highlight. You are listening to the Video Voter Guide interview and podcast of Commissioner Sushila Jayapal, candidate for Multnomah County Commissioner, District 2. What steps would you take in order to make mental health and substance abuse services more readily available to all who need them? Yeah, well, as I mentioned in my last answer, um, the scale of need for mental health and behavioral health services is so, so acute, so great that it is a state level issue. Um, We passed, the state passed measure 110 in the long session that money has not yet been distributed. And that is funding that will go towards creating additional community mental health and behavioral health options. That needs to be dispersed. It needs to be sent. It's, it's stuck at the state level. It's not you know, something that the county advocates for, but it's not entirely within our control. That's really, really important. The other two things I mentioned, um, the county is developing a behavioral health resource center downtown. This is going to open in the fall, and it's going to be a place where people, folks who are on the streets who need mental and behavioral health services can go in to get daily needs met, can also connect to services. It's also going to have transitional housing, and it's going to have some emergency shelter as well. Um, I think when that comes online, that's going to be a really great asset for the community. And then the third thing We need spaces where somebody who's in acute crisis on the streets, mental health, behavioral health, where that person can go in order to be stabilized. Right now, we don't have uh, spaces like that. We used to have spaces that we call sobering centers. Those were created when alcohol was the drug that we we were dealing with. What we're seeing right now with meth, um, much more acute, very different kinds of crisis situations that are being presented, and we need spaces for those folks to go to. That's also something I've been advocating for. There is a project in the works um, to create that kind of a network of spaces, and um, that's something that I'll continue to advocate for. Thank you, Commissioner Jayapal. This concludes our Video Voters Guide and podcast interview of Commissioner Shashila Jayapal, candidate for Multnomah County Commissioner, District 2. Election day is Tuesday, May 17. Thank you for informing yourself about the candidates and for exercising your right to vote. For more information on the primary election and this race, visit our websites, vote411.org and lwvpdx.org. Thank you for your interest.